Hello all, welcome to Embroidery Tutorials and Designs. In the first part, I have shown you how to make the body of the purse. In the second part, we have seen how to attach the zipper. Those who have not seen these two videos, kindly watch those two videos and come back here to see how to attach the lining. Take a cotton fabric that matches the color of the purse. Fold the fabric so that the right side of the fabric matches each other. Fold the fabric in such a way so that the bottom of the purse touches the folded part and see there is half or quarter inch fabric in the top for seam allowance. Leave quarter inch seam allowance in the left side. Draw a line marking the quarter inch so that it is easy for us to stitch later. Now place one end of the purse on that line and mark the other end of the purse and draw a line. Then from that line mark quarter inch and draw another line. Now cut the fabric along the last drawn line and along the top edge. Trim any uneven edges. Now mark quarter inch from the top of the fabric and fold it along that quarter inch. Now stitch along the folded edge. Do the same for the other edge also. Now fold the fabric so that the right side faces each other. Now stitch along the lines that we have marked on both the sides. Now place the lining inside the purse in such a way that the wrong side of the purse and the wrong side of the lining touches each other. Align the edges of the purse and the lining and pin it in place. This is done so that the lining doesn't move while making the hemming stitches. Do this for the other edge of the purse also. Now adjust the lining according to the body of the purse and pin it on both the sides.
the top of the lining should be placed above the stitch line in the purse now we are going to make hemming stitches joining both the lining and the zipper for hemming you can take white color thread so that the stitches are not visible outside the zipper be careful to take small stitches both in the zipper and the lining The lining of the purse is now completed. Here you can see in some places the hemming stitches are visible on top of the purse. So to make it invisible, I am going to crochet another round of single crochets around the last round of double crochets. Finish off the round and hide in the tails using a sewing needle. The purse is now completed. 
Hope all of you have enjoyed the journey of making this crochet purse. I'll be back with simple crochet projects. So please subscribe my channel and press the notification button to get all the updates from my channel. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.